The 2000 National Convention of the Republican Party of the United States convened at the First Union Center, now the Wells Fargo Center, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, from July 31 to August 3, 2000. The 2000 delegates assembled at the convention nominated Texas Governor George W. Bush for president and former U.S. Secretary of Defense Richard B. Dick Cheney for vice president. Topic. Political context Bush, eldest son of the 41st president, was identified early as the party establishment's frontrunner and turned back a strong primary challenge from John McCain, a Vietnam War veteran and U.S. Senator from Arizona. At the convention, the party and campaign sought to showcase Bush's slogan of compassionate conservatism to persuade undecided voters. Bush's acceptance speech Bush attacked the eight years of the Clinton administration as weak on defense and military topics, high taxes, underperforming schools and indifferent teachers, high pollution, and a «lack of dignity and respect to the presidency». He attacked the Clinton administration's military policies, claiming that American troops were «not ready for duty, sir». He also claimed that the Clinton administration did not provide leadership. He said, "...they had their chance. They have not led. We will." <inaudible> <inaudible> Roll call vote Instead of holding the roll call of states on one night, the Bush campaign arranged for the voting to take place over four nights, so that Bush would eventually build up support throughout the week, culminating with Cheney's home state of Wyoming finally putting him over the top on the final night. There were few defections, despite a large contingent of delegates having been elected to support McCain, who formally released them to Bush. The convention then voted by acclamation to make the convention nomination unanimous. Cheney's nomination as vice president had also been approved by acclamation on Wednesday night, so Cheney could address the convention later that night as the official nominee. Speakers July 31 Colin Powell, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Elaine Chao, former president of the United Way of America and wife of U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell from Kentucky August 1 John McCain, U.S. Senator from Arizona Norman Schwarzkopf, Jr., retired general and Allied commander during the 1991 Persian Gulf War Bob Dole, former U.S. Senator from Kansas and 1996 Republican presidential nominee George Pataki, Governor of New York Condoleezza Rice, Professor of Political Science and former Provost of Stanford University Laura Bush, school librarian and wife of George W. Bush Elizabeth Dole, former Secretary of Labor and wife of former Republican presidential candidate Bob Dole. August 2 Lynn Cheney, former Chair of the National Endowment for the Humanities and wife of Dick Cheney Vice Presidential nominee Dick Cheney, former U.S. Secretary of Defense August 3 Tom Ridge, Governor of Pennsylvania Presidential nominee George W. Bush, Governor of Texas Other attendees Henry Bonilla Barbara Bush former First Lady George H. W. Bush former President George P. Bush, son of George W.'s brother, Jeb Bush, governor from Florida. Andrew Card, former United States Secretary of Transportation. Robert Conrad. Bo Derrick. Jennifer Dunn. Gerald Ford, former president. Bill Frist, senator from Tennessee. Chuck Hagel, senator from Nebraska. 
Melissa Hart, Congresswoman from Pennsylvania. Dennis Hastert, Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Lori Morgan, Country Music Recording Artist. Trent Lott, Senate Majority Leader. Sue Myrick. Jim Nicholson, RNC Chairman. Nancy Reagan, Former First Lady. Richard J. Reardon. Rick Schroeder. Ben Stein. Connie Stevens. Tommy Thompson, Governor of Wisconsin. Tom Patrick Waring, Editor of the Northeast Times. J.C. Watts. Hank Williams Jr. Bruce Willis, actor. Steve Young. Topic: Public reception in July 1999. The LGBT plus community of Philadelphia held two protests on July 29th and 30th. They did this in objection to Philadelphia hosting the Republican National Convention. These protests resulted in the arrest of over 300 people. The initial protest was not target to the Republican Party specifically, rather, it was a call to change from both Republican and Democratic parties. The protesters felt that both political parties, for the most part, ignored the needs and issues surrounding the LGBT community. See also Republican Party presidential primaries, 2000 History of the United States Republican Party List of Republican National Conventions U.S. Presidential Nomination Convention 2000 Democratic National Convention United States Presidential Election, 2000 George W. Bush Presidential Campaign, 2000